Now wake up early in the morning. You want to go on a train? No, I need a train. A train? No, a train. Airplane? Yeah. Okay, you want an airplane today or a train? A train. Airplane? All right. Hello? <laughs> Uh oh, did you pinch Dorothy? Mm -hmm. Oh no, okay, you say sorry. Sorry. And give her a kiss. That's a sweetie. <laughs> Who's that? Mia. Mia? Who's that? Mama. Who's that? Gigi. Who's that? Dada. Roll call, daddy, here. Mommy. Here. Dorothy. Here. Manila. Here. Manila, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue. Blue. What's your favorite animal? Fishy. Fishies. And what's your favorite food? Chachi. Chachi. <laughs> what's your favorite food? A pizza, mommy. Cheese A pizza. pizza. What is your favorite flavor of gelato? Uh, maybe um, mint chocolate chip. You've been doing a bunch of jobs in Italy to earn money. What did you buy with your money? I uh, should a splatter thing. A splatter <laughs> thing? Oh, that gold one is cool. Surprise, surprise on the pink. Uh-huh. Okay, go tell them thank you. Here you go. <laughs> that is awesome. Manila. <laughs> Good morning from Italy. If you were watching this, we would love to get to know you better. So, question for you. If you could go visit any country in the entire world, what country would be at the very top of your bucket list? Please comment below. Italy has been at the top of my bucket list for forever. And we went to Rome back in August. Got a little taste of a Italy. A little taste. Not enough. Maybe our confidence is a little too high, but we decided to try and visit three different cities in one week. First city, Milan. Maybe my favorite of the three. But why is it your favorite? Because we got to do some really cool stuff called soccer. So we arrived to Milan. Train station is just the most incredible place ever. And then we arrived to our hotel, the Westin Palace Milan. <laughs> Go, Dorothy, go, next one. <laughs> Dorothy! <laughs> hey, what is that? Give me that. Wow. You had to play soccer? Something like that. Maybe a surprise? I'm not sure. Go, Dorothy, go. go. Have a look. Vanilla, who is that? A ball! Come on, we get our toys, jump the bed, and jump on my stomach, okay? Okay. <laughs> so AC Milan, an incredible, incredible club, a team that I followed for a long time, and then they invited us to kind of have this tour of their facilities. <laughs> Yep, there's that thing. What's your name, guys? <laughs> 
Hey, Manila, come here. <laughs> Their facilities. Casa Milan. I did. I had no idea. Like, Garrett thinks he knows soccer, but he's just this American boy who does not know soccer. And then he comes over to Europe, and he's like, "Oh, oh, this is the beautiful game I've been playing, and this is the history <laughs> behind it." AC Milan as a club has so much history, and yeah. when they walked us through their museum... Who did you meet, babe? Franco Baresi. This is how he explained it to me. Michael Jordan is to the Bulls, as Troy Aikman is to the Cowboys, as Franco Baresi is to AC Milan. And he came to meet us, and he gave Garrett a jersey. Oh, hey! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Are you so stoked, babe? So stoked. <laughs> oh, babe. Casa Milan. Very cool. I was a little confused, like, so am I on the team? Am I not on the team? Like, let's just... Garrett's like, oh, so, like... Game tomorrow? Can I play? <laughs> Get set, go! Go, Manila, go, Manila! We have uh, one gift and one surprise. And then, later that night, there just so happened to be a game. Italy versus Germany. Which was perfect because we're in Italy on our way to Germany. So I message one of the coolest guys in all of Germany. If you are German and you know your national team, there's a fantastic defender, number four, Mr. Benedict. And Benny. he is the coolest. Benny, buddy, can I call you buddy? <laughs> he hooked us up with tickets to the game and it was awesome. It was a late game and it was freezing cold, but like the atmosphere was so... <sighs> Awesome. Okay, look, you want to see the ticket? Oh, how nice. Oh, mom got pretzels. Mom pretzels. Oh, is that warm? <laughs> You got food on your face. <laughs> you got it. Let's go on chocolate. Siamo in 50,000 seconds. So we had the opportunity to work with IA Travel and they helped us arrange some really cool tours and activities throughout our time in Italy. And one of the best ones, probably, was a gelato making oh, class. Yes. Oh, it was awesome. Ice cream! <laughs> no, it's not called ice cream. What's it called? Gelato. Gelato. All right, what are we gonna go learn to make? Gelato. Yeah, and who's coming with us? Why are you bringing Ariel? Because she wants gelato. She wants some? What did you do? You mix? So we take the choo-choo from Milan to Florence. Also known as a train for adults. <laughs> and we get to Florence and we stay at the Westin Excelsior. No, no. Then. Oh! <laughs> uh,
the Westin in Florence had the most prime location. It was right on the river and you could look at our balcony and see the Ponte Vecchio. With the hot dog. With the hot dog. So I think Dorothy's favorite of the three cities was Florence. Maybe because we had a pool on our own balcony. Uh, but what was your favorite thing about Florence? Oh, the market. And just exploring around and the Ponte Vecchio and just some of the architecture. Oh, it was like the perfect size city. From people commenting on our Instagram, it seems like Florence is the popular city. Florence is the place to be. Yeah, Florence was incredible. I'm gonna come in your same one. Dorothy, wait, I have something important. And that was the most important thing I ever ate. What was it? I just told you. I didn't hear you. What? Thank you. Hey, Dorothy, you guess what? And that was the most important thing. What was it? That was the most important thing I ever got for Christmas. What was it? I just told you. I didn't hear you. Well, next time. And that was the most important thing I saw that day. Where are you going to serve? And that's the most important thing they have at Disneyland. What was it? I just told you. I didn't hear you. So then we take the train, the choo-choo, from Florence to Venice. And this was awesome because we hop in a taxi, but not a regular taxi, a water taxi. Our water taxi takes us to the Western Europa and Regina. Right in the heart of Venice.
find her. You made a train? Yeah. Okay, show me. Come on. <laughs> oh, look at this train. Bus. I'd been to Venice one time before, and she's like, "So, what do you want to do here?" And I said, "Honestly, there's a few like musties, but the best thing and my favorite thing to do is just to wander, walk around, and every time you turn a corner, you're like, wow, this is beautiful. And then you turn the next corner, wow." IA Travel helped us arrange my bucket list experience, riding the gondolas. So romantic. Classic. Oh, that's romantic. With <laughs> our children. <laughs> Okay, so this is something cool about Venice. It really is just like a romantic city. So when you're walking around the canals and you see other people on their gondola rides, they're always just cuddled, <laughs> up. cuddled and smooching. Yeah. If you're creepo weirdos like us and just find happiness in seeing other lovely couples, go to Venice. Because you can people watch these romantic couples all the day long. One of the highlights of going all over Italy was going on the trains. That was Manila's favorite. Yeah, Manila loves trains. Probably what he's getting for Christmas. Juicy train! <laughs> Wait, look at look at Manila. What's he doing? Oh, what's he doing? He's in my squad. Oh, oh, there he goes. Daddy. Look at him, look at him. No, don't. Manila, don't smile. Can I do the No, don't smile. Can I do the Yeah, it's just that. No, stop. <laughs> Sprinkles? Let's see Dorothy not smile. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Our European tour is almost coming to a close. Almost. This chapter, we're gonna come back to. There's a lot of Europe we didn't see yet. I'm looking at you, Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's a lot of Europe that we wanted to see that we haven't, so we're already making plans to come back. We are finished up in Italy, we're going to Germany, then Switzerland, and then heading to the United States.
United States to be home with family for the holidays. And then we'll be back on the road in 2017. A lot of people have asked, like, how long do you think we're going to travel for? And we're not sure. We're just going to travel until we think it feels right to stop. But for sure, at least one more year. Sorry if there's no buffalo cheese left in Italy. She ate it. She ate it all. Italy, thank you. We love you. Wonderful people. And Germany, we will see you soon. Ciao.